I'm always kind of critical of religion. I mean, I think there's there's good aspects to it, but I'm kind of critical of it. I mean, I, personally, I think the Christians should be doing more to heal the world. I think more of them should be actually walking the path of Jesus rather than waiting for Jesus to come back and save them. I mean, you know, the whole the whole thing. Trust God's plan. He's going to save you. Just sit back, wait for it to happen. The world has to turn to hell on earth. There's nothing you can do about it, but once it all gets really bad, someone's going to come and save you. Don't do anything. Just sit there. It's all good. Just pray. Don't do what he did. Don't actually act like him. Wait for him to come back and save you. Trust the plan. Yeah, I don't know, folks. I see this as a huge opportunity for us to, to kind of adopt that spirit. And no, that isn't new age thinking. You know, people have been so programmed into saying that anything that doesn't agree with King James is new age. And I think that they put it all there just so people would think that, folks. I really do. I mean, I see this as a huge opportunity for freedom. I see this as a, a time when the human spirit can really rise into what it is supposed to be. The time when we can really see how we're being played and what this world actually is. So that's what I'm hoping will come about from this, folks. But as I've often said before, folks, don't, don't let yourself fall into the negative mindset and the negative spirit through all this. This is such a huge opportunity. And your life itself is a prayer, as I've said so many times. There's a conversation going on between you and reality every minute of every day. You're having an emotional conversation with reality and it's mirroring back to you the state that you're in. That's why you can have no stake in the outcome. You're only here for a breath. You only came here for a moment. You came here for this test. And the test is, is ramping up in earnest right now. So it's going to depend on whether mankind, humanity, chooses to remember their spirit and to stand up in the face of this. An interesting thing in the Vedas is that they talk about a great war that happened around about 5,000 years ago when the earth was invaded by what they call demons who resembled human kings. And that's an interesting concept, isn't it? Now, when I look at this whole concept of rulers and countries and nations and even us believing we need rulers, people believing that they could be the king. Hey, I have the right to tell you what to do because of my bloodline. I can do it because I'm the king. And people go, oh, okay, he's the king. How does this work? Why is he the king? Why? This person just says, I'm the ruler, I can do whatever I want, I'm the king? How? How did that mentality ever get into the human spirit? How could we ever have constructed the incredible things we did if we were subject to that mentality for all of our existence. You know, people are, are incredibly creative things. We're incredibly creative free spirits. You know, art. And when you look at some of the architecture that we had and some of the inventions that we've made, it's all, it's all a form of art. You know, someone inventing something that does something incredible. That itself is a form of art. That, that's the man's art or the woman's art whether it's a painting, whether it's an invention, whether it's a machine, whatever, you know, the art of speaking to people, the art of whatever, everybody, you know, we are all artists in our own right. And if we are free to explore our creative potential and express our creative potential, imagine what we could create. And that's how I think we created all that stuff. But I don't think we ever could have done it had we been subject to the rule of kings for the whole time. Do what you're told, go to work, get paid, pay your taxes. Why would we ever build anything beautiful in that environment? Look at us now, we're certainly not building anything beautiful now. We might build what we consider to be wondrous architectural achievements, but they're these great ugly looking metal and glass buildings. But they're not artistic, not like the stuff we used to build. And I don't really see how we could ever have built any of that stuff if we've been subject to this feudal culture that we've come to perceive to be our history and to believe that this is why it's always been, yeah, it was just people sort of vying to get to the top of the pile and killing each other and taking over countries and we've always hated each other and it's always been a world of war. 
If it's always been a world of war, I can't see how we would have ever built any of that stuff, folks. The more you realize that, <laughs> like Napoleon said, history is a lie agreed upon. Now, they just made the whole, whole lot up, folks. They made the whole fucking thing up. 